<laughs> Thanks for coming out today. Thank I you. guess you all know who I am and what I do, so we'll just get to questions. If you have anything you want to ask me? Yep, let's open up the floor. Who's got some questions? I'd like to start out. How did you get your start? How did you get your start into what you're doing now? The voiceover, the everything. That's a, that's a long story. We only have 45 minutes. Um, <laughs> I started as a, an animator, a traditional animator. Uh, I was mentored by Walt Disney's Nine Old Men in traditional animation and drum. Mm -hmm. And I worked on Mickey's Christmas Carol and Little Mermaid, Beauty the Beast, Lion King, Aladdin, all those. And uh, in that time, I was the apprentice to Clarence Nash, who was the original voice of Donald Duck. For about three years it took. It's kind of like learning a language. Mm -hmm. And when he passed away, then I carried the torch from there. That's so, amazing. And it's been 44 fun-filled years, I think. Nice. So do you have like a key to the castle, so to speak? When you walk in, are you Disney royalty? <laughs> no. 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 It's getting robbed out there. So, uh, uh, there's a new game out called Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Did you do the, the voice of Donald for that? Anything that's Donald is me since 1985. Uh, I did do that. I often don't know what it's for. Right. It's, it, that would be a good example of one where I'll go in and I put the lines down and I'll do them three or four times and who knows what happens. That's what people ask. Hey, that line! <laughs> After 44 years, I don't know. I read a script, I don't know. <laughs> well, I know that's what's my new favorite game. I love that game. It's so cathartic. You play it? I play it. Is it good? I still currently play it. It oh, is so well, fun. Oh, that's good to know, because I, I, I haven't seen it, so. It's amazing. Who else plays Dreamlight Valley? Yep, 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 yep. It's a great game. We love it. And your character on there is probably the funniest one, because... That's good. Time. You just keep falling down for no reason, and then you get all mad and do the. You do the. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Uh, we did have a question from from Donald over here. Let me pull. It. He had me take a picture of it on my phone. I need something in the cloud. Oh look, that's cute. That's my oh, airline that's stuff. Oh no, don't look at that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> After many years of giving life to Donald, do you think it's more difficult to voice me or, just, or animate me? It's the same. Animation is very hard. It takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of time. You give the character weight and life from a blank piece of paper. Of course, we don't do that anymore. That's a felony. Now they do it all with computers. But the voice is also hard. Uh, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of, uh, I don't know if you can see. I really have to press hard, and when you do that for about two or three hours after a while, it's pretty exhausting. And after 44 years, it's <laughs> caused some problems. <clears throat> the uh, work hazard is, is uh, there for sure. I can imagine getting a headache. Hernias, root canals. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So. You mentioned you started out in animation, and now you've done the voiceover for some years. Do you still animate? Do you still get Actually, to see stuff? Actually, uh, good news for traditional animation. There's a short coming out that Disney did for its 100th anniversary. What's it called 1923? I think they're calling it uh, Once Upon a Studio now. I'm not sure when it's coming out. It has all the uh, Disney animated characters in a reunion. It's just a six minute short. And the traditional animated characters are done with traditional animation. So we were all brought back freelance to do, I did, I animated some of Donald and Goofy and uh, a couple other little characters in their traditional animation. They're mixed in with the CG. It's, a, it's really a sweet film. It's really cute. I'm looking forward to seeing how it turned out. But so yeah, I actually did get the pencil out again. That's amazing. And other than that, what, what do you have for us to look forward to coming up? Well, right now, there's Mickey Mouse Funhouse, which is the current show on uh, Disney <coughs> Junior. We just did some cruise line shows, and uh, we did some Christmas stuff already for next Christmas. Um, a nice show. And uh, there's another uh, Disney Junior show that I'm going to be doing 
I don't know if it's been announced, so I won't say, but we're, they keep us busy. <laughs> it's nice to stay busy after like knowing that you have, all right, I'm good, I'm good. You can just keep sailing. It's gotta be a good it's feeling. It's a blessing, yeah. <laughs> I don't take it for granted. Hey guys, if y'all have any questions, just, just shoot it up, what's up? So I'm a massive Kingdom Hearts fan, mm -hmm. and when I met Bill Farmer, he said that you all recorded all your voice lines separately. Yeah. How awkward of an experience was that? And do you still understand the story to this day? Uh, well, that's, um, I don't remember when we switched to doing it on our own, because we did used to do it ensemble. Okay. And I don't remember when we switched, but there's more control of the sound, especially with, with Donald, I would do a line three or four times and they'll you know, pick the best one. Um, and if the other characters are waiting for their turn, that slows things down. So it's better for all of us actually, uh, sound quality wise, to be able to control it like that. Um, so it doesn't really affect the performance because the director knows what we're all gonna be doing and he'll, he'll explain the situation and the, the um, motivation and what's going on. So that's his job and th that works out fine. It's, it's never a problem. Awesome, thank you, sir. Yeah. That's a great question. We have another question? With the Donald hat on. Um, so, out of Hue Huey, Dewey, and Louie, which one's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Can you even tell them apart? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much the same duck with a different color hat, right? Red, red, blue, or green? No, I don't. I mean, uh, you know, Rusey Taylor did their voices in the original DuckTales. Um, when we do, uh, what do we call it, legacy stuff, in the 30s and 40s, Clarence Nash did their voices and it was sped up to make them sound younger. So I've done that a few times. But I, even Rusey would say, you know, it's the same voice. <laughs> so I don't think I can get that high. <laughs> They really, you know, they'll 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 do that electronically. Uh, I don't know. I just do Donald, and they speed it up. That's good. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Right here. Do you ever use your um, voice acting talents for light like, evil? You know, going through a drive-through, and you and you just hit them with something random, and they look at you and like, wait, what? No, because that doesn't go over well. They just think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Nobody knows what I look like, which I like, because I I like being able to go to the grocery store and not have to worry uh, about uh, whether I'm dressed appropriately or not. <laughs> but, um, if there have been times where parents get more excited than their kids, you know, like this is Donald Duck talking, and I'll talk, and the kid will look up and be like, "Why? Why is this old man talking like Donald Duck?" <laughs> be less amused. So, with this exterior, it just doesn't work. So, I'm definitely behind the camera, behind the microphone, in a dark room, far away. Do you have a, a favorite celebrity impersonation that does Donald Duck? Because I know, like uh, Tom Cruise does. Donald, that's his favorite impression to do. I saw an interview with Bill Hader, who I uh, admire a lot, and he said, oh, I have a Donald Duck impersonation. I thought, uh-oh, <laughs> I bet his would be good. But I will tell you what they all do, and if you go on the internet, and there, there's a thousand how to do Donald's voice um, tutorials, and they're all doing Yaki Doodle. You guys are all probably too young to know who Yaki Doodle was. Does, does anybody here know who Yaki Doodle was? That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> if you go on YouTube and look up Yaki Doodle, you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's basically they are just squeezing air through their cheek, and it's a different, the voice is coming from a different place than what Clarence and I do. So, um, what was the question? Do you have a favorite celebrity, celebrity who does the voice? So they're all doing that as well. They're all squeezing air out of their cheek. And so when Bill Hader did it as well, it was he was squeezing the air out of his cheeks like that. Okay, you're like, Phew. So, you know, <laughs> the, the way the voice is really done is still a secret. If I told you, I'd have to kill you. All right. All right. <laughs> Do you have an understudy? Question right here. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, yeah. Do you have an understudy? I will. Uh, I Clarence was. Uh, 78 when I started working with them. So I'll probably wait. I've, I keep my eye out, I honestly do. And there have been a few people. TJ? <laughs> 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 All right. 
What was what was Donald Duck's cartoon in 1939? See, so you have to know the I legacy. Fail. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the three. Caballeros. Caballeros? No, that was 1944, yeah. and it wasn't a short. So it's going to have to be somebody that really understands the history okay. first. I think that's. I was. Well, we got a few years, right? <laughs> study, study, study. <laughs> I'll call you in 10 years. Let's do this. How old are you? 45. 10 years you'll be. Well, I. You're gonna have to wait 20 years. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go for somebody that, I'm sorry. Dang it. 20, it's gonna last a while, because it takes a long time to learn how to do this voice. All right. It's also a lot of work. You may not, it may not be. How about that one in the glasses right there? I think he'd be perfect. Oh. Yeah. You want the job? You want to be the new Donald? He's 10, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, congratulations, you got the job. <laughs> Follow in 20 years. So there are actually a few people that I thought had potential, and I said, all right, here's the first step. Try it out, because it takes about a year to get that part. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'd see them three months later and say, so how's that going? And they went, oh, you know, I really didn't. I oh, don't know, I thought, okay. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it it's like being a concert pianist or, or an opera singer or a ballerina. It takes 10,000 hours of a lot of work and a lot of practice. And, I, there's not a lot of people that are willing to volunteer that for a chance, you know? Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe by the time I go, AI will take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, who knows where that's going to go. Question for the cow. I, I actually do know the answer now because I had to check myself. It is Donald's Penguin, right? Was well, that, that didn't win the Oscar, no, but, but that I was one that, of seven from 1939. But okay. Can't, uh, that's cheating. No, I, I do. <laughs> there was a penguin one you from like way back when, because like I love penguins, and that was one of my first. <laughs> I, I do. I was like, the penguin one. <laughs> oh hush. <laughs> oh, oh. Question over there. Yeah, Tony, you talked about um, how when you kind of met Clarence, you know, he was passing you, and he, you know, sort of under his voice, you know, was how you doing, you know, he would just kind of. Poke Donald out every once in a while. Do you mess with people and do that every once in a while when you're in public, or? I don't because they don't make the connection. They just think um, Is somebody this a guy doing an imitation. Okay. Uh, Clarence, sense. he would do that when he was in, a, in an environment where people knew who he was. So if I'm at a Disney fan convention, I will because they know who I am and it makes sense. Um, Clarence also had a puppet that he carried around with him just about wherever he went. So that kind of helped too, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a story I tell where I went with him. He would go over to the children's ward across the street from the studio at St. Joseph's Hospital to visit the kids about once a week. And I went with him one day and he went in and the nurse said, there's a, there's a boy who's gonna hurt himself. He's been crying so long that I'm afraid it's gonna damage his his vocal cords, can you get him to calm him down? So he went over with the puppet and put it in the little boy's face and said, Shut up! <laughs> 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 and he did. <laughs> oh, question. So when Disney has like a new, like, fireworks show or a stage show for the parts that they need your voice for, how much advance notice do you get? They're pretty ahead of, like I said, we're just doing Christmas stuff now. So it's usually about six months ahead, depending on what it is, like animation, they have to animate it and that takes a year. So that's even more advanced. Um, they're on the ball, they, they're way ahead of stuff. And I often don't always know what it's for. Sometimes they'll even take stuff that I've done before and reuse it. That happens a lot. Um, there's, there's fun stuff like, uh, if any of you have been to Disney World, or I think you've been to Disneyland, I don't know. Um, what is that attraction? <laughs> <laughs> Both of them, actually. There's three Caballeros in, in the World Showcase, but yep. there's... Um, Runaway Railway? Fantasmic? 
Yes, thank you. You're welcome. I don't know, I know Clarence's stuff, but I don't know my own stuff. <laughs> anyway, half of that is Clarence. Half of it's me and half of it's Clarence. They'll often use library stuff, and then I'm very proud of them. You can't tell the difference, because that's, that's my job, is making sure that it isn't any different than Clarence Nash. It's not about me, it's about him. And my other mentor, Jack Hanna, was the director of the animation for all the Donald Duck shorts. So Ooh. I owe all this to them and I'm very protective of it. And uh, the way Donald looks when we draw it, and the way he sounds when I record it for Clarence, so that it isn't Yaki Doodle. And I encourage you all to go home and look up Yaki Doodle <laughs> on YouTube and you'll go, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. right. Can you do that air pocket thing? Yeah, that, I can't do that. Okay. That's what everybody does. It took me forever to learn that. And there's some guy on the internet that does all the characters in drive throughs and he's doing that too, and I think it's just going to confuse people. <laughs> the internet is not often our friend. No. <laughs> I don't do social media, so. It's um, probably better. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we got time for one last question. So, um, what's your like work schedule like? like how often are you? Or do you go into the studio? Do you or do you have the studio at your home? No. And do you read? You know, do lines two or three hours a day or a week or what? What's what's it like? Donald's um, life like now? It's really inconsistent. Always has been. Uh, sometimes there'll be three sessions in a week. Sometimes a month will go by with nothing. Um, I get the scripts long in advance so that I can really go over them. I often have to change it not the intention in the script but for clarity like donald can't say r's l-y's ing's so i'll switch it if it's a word if the script has rear i'll change it to last because rear will be and last is which is much clearer so i'll do that with all the dialogue and then i'll read it again the next night and see if i can think of anything to you know plus it make it more entertaining and then the next day we'll record it always in the afternoon and we'll do three or four takes and they'll pick the one they like the most now with technology they can actually take the first half of one line and the second half of another and cobble it together seamlessly and, and that people will often say you know he sounds better than Clarence he's or more clear but it's not really fair because I'm not but they can just do stuff technologically now that makes me sound, more, I mean, have more enunciation. So mm -hmm. in that case, technology was our friend, but. Yeah, it's getting, away. getting away, it's getting away from us. Uh, so from here, you're gonna go back to your to your booth. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna be here till what time, you know? I guess five. Till five o'clock, so make sure to swing by. If you have any questions that you weren't able to ask right now, swing by, talk to them, take some pictures, shake some babies. I mean, shake some hands. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise once again. Tony and Selma. Yours and our Donald Duck.